know what? I'll go through the process, get get Arch set up. Um, this isn't a, uh, a video for how to install Arch. I already have one of those that you can watch. I don't know here, or I don't, I, I don't know. It's the first time I've done this somewhere up here. Uh, but yeah, I'll install Arch, get back to you, and make sure everything's working. Okay. Okay, and I think I have everything set up on my Arch Virtual Machine. Let's just reboot it and see what happens. seems to be working and how much space do I have left not a lot I might be able to get away with XFCE how heavy is plasma Ooh, maybe I should have gave this more than five gigs. Ooh. Let's let's uh I don't really want to give it a another tiling window manager. I guess I could just give it open box. Oh LXDE. Let's do LXDE. Oh, I forgot there's no completion for this. So we're gonna do Xorg Server Org X Lander. I, I don't know if it's called LXDE or not. Um, I've never actually installed that on Arch before. Uh, okay, so that's going to install less than a gig. So far, so good. Ooh, this is going to be tight. I don't think I can install a web browser, or at least no. Maybe I could do Firefox. How big is Firefox? Let me find out. Really, what I want to do is I want... Oh, I do need a terminal emulator. I'll probably install Alacrity. Uh, so what I want to do is show you how to do multiple screens. Say you have multiple monitors like I do, and you don't want to just view everything through Vert Manager. You don't have to. It's actually fairly simple to do. So did that install... Install the poll kit. Did install a, install a display manager? Did it do a Xenet RC file? No. Okay. Well, let's. Which light DM? Which? Wait. Which is not an arch thing? Do I? 
Okay, let me ju let's just restart. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up how to start LXDE on Arch. I guess it is. They do expect you to do a Xinit RC. Vim dot Xinit RC. And then, uh, was it exec LXDE? Is it not called LXDE? Oh, damn it. Oh, it's not. Start LXDE. That seems dumb. Okay, so we have LXDE, LXDE here. Does it come with a terminal? Oh, do you not come with a terminal? Oh, LX terminal. Sweet. Okay, so we don't need to do that. So, we're going to shut this down. Come on. Come on, buddy. I'm going to shut this down, uh, close out of our vert manager. Or... Er, Actually, no, we're not. We're going to hop over to our details here, the little eye. Oh. Let's move everything back to the first screen again. Or everything that's pertinent to this. Okay. So on the main vert manager page, you're going to want to go to edit, preferences, and then enable XML editing. That's basically enabling you to, on this overview, click the XML tab, and if you remember, this is exactly what the uh, Versh edit looked like. Uh, on here, we're going to want to look for our video section. Right down here, almost all the way at the bottom. Uh, specifically, uh, you're going to want to change the heads. So, heads are the number of screens or monitors that you want to produce. Uh, in this case, let's do... I don't know, let's do three of them. I only have two monitors, but it's not gonna... You can't see two of them anyway. Uh, so let's apply that. And start it up again. And you may be wondering, well, wait a second. That's not three screens. You're right. That's not three screens. Vert Manager is not capable of showing more than one screen. Uh, so we need to install another utility. Let's just close out of here. Close out of here as well. It is called uh, Vert Viewer. So sudo apt. Yes, I'm in Debian now. Pseudo apt, I probably should have just stuck with Debian. Pseudo apt install vert viewer. Oh, is that already installed? Okay, cool. Uh, so just type in vert viewer. Oh, and it, you have to run it as sudo because uh, the QEMU and KVM sessions are running uh, in a privileged environment. So sudo vert viewer. And that'll pop up a, I guess, all of your currently running virtual machines. You just click one to connect to, click connect, and boom! Pops up in three different windows. Well, let's. And I accidentally closed them all. Oh, that's okay. What the heck is going on? Oh, I'm closing out the terminal, which is holding on to the... Okay, whatever. I'll just move that to the background. And 
This should... If we open our terminal, everything should... Oh, can we find the monitors? Oh boy. Okay, what we might have to do... Play, so all three of them should be hooked up. Uh, let's just see what X-Rander has. Nope. Oh man, my mouse is not having a good time going this many layers deep in a VM. Okay. X-Rander. Oh, they're showing us disconnected. Oh, let's see why that is. Okay, so it looks like that is working. Uh, let's make it... Uh, let's have that be to the right. Right of virtual one. Oh. Right of is one word. Right of virtual one. So, now... Come on. We throw this screen over to one. I'll actually switch positions. There we go. That is how you would do multiple desktops. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard if you're probably not installing LXDE. Uh, but hey, if you're installing, you know, BSPWM or something else on your virtual machine and you want multiple monitors for it, that's how you do it. You would just create a custom resolution or it's not even a custom resolution. You would just add an existing resolution from your good monitor over to the one or ones that aren't working. And I'm not going to go get the third one up because I have a feeling, I have a feeling weird things might happen with the trying to do the same size between all of them. All right. Yeah, that was, uh, I guess it, it was a little, little longer than I initially anticipated. Well, the recording of it was anyways. I didn't really, probably should have just skipped installing Arch, just did a uh, base Debian like I've been doing. Uh, but it's it's fun to install Arch, I always get a kick out of it. Uh, if you want to see me get a kick out of installing Arch, you can watch me install it. Uh, man. I might have to switch over to Arch again. Or switch back to Arch again. It's it's been a minute since I I, I like ran it full time, uh, but anyways, that's how you would do Vert Manager. Uh, that's my configuration for it. That's how you would set up uh, UEFI. That's how you would do multiple displays. Um, yeah, that's about everything I think you would need to know. All right, well, I'm Sky Knight. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. See you later.